Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a quick look at the reference view in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. To enter reference view, we can click the RA icon or use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus R. This splits the screen into two panels with space for the reference image on the left and the selected or active image on the right. We'll start by dragging our main image, the one that we want to use to match the other images too, from the film strip to the reference area. This image will remain static, allowing us to compare the images when we're editing. Then I'll select another image from the film strip, making it my active image. This is the image that we're going to adjust. We'll start by increasing the white slider and then add a bit of dehaze, making sure to keep my eye on both of the images as I make the edits. Then because I only want to decrease the exposure a little, I'll click in the text entry field and then use the arrow keys. Using the up arrow will increase the exposure and the down arrow will decrease the exposure. Then I'll select temperature and use the up arrow key to shift towards yellow. Then tap the tab key to select the tint text entry field and use the down arrow key to remove a bit of magenta. This side-by-side -side view is perfect for ensuring color and exposure consistency across a series of photos. If we prefer, we can click the small triangle next to the RA icon and choose the top bottom view, or simply click on the icon to toggle between the layouts. Now, before we wrap up, we can change the reference image at any time by dragging another image from the film strip. We can also set the active photo to the reference photo by right clicking or control clicking on Mac on the photo and selecting set as reference photo. And if we have multiple images selected in the film strip, you can right click or control click on Mac on the desired photo and choose set as reference photo. Lightroom Classic clears the current reference photo when you switch modules. To lock the current reference photo to the reference window, we can click the reference photo lock icon in the toolbar before switching to another module. Or if you need to select an image from another collection, instead of changing modules, use the collections panel in the develop module or click on the path to choose from recent and favorite collections and folders. To exit reference view, tap the loop view icon or tap the D key. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.